Hello everybody and welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm your host Ty, and I'm back here today with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time we left off we got uh got a few more areas to explore over in the school. Um saw nothing, absolutely nothing. And Monokuma is now mute and bald. Found a computer room that Miyu has to check out later. Kibo can't do it because that is Kibo. And I think that's pretty much it. Wrong button again. S uh, wrong button again. So in between episodes, I went to the casino, did more stuff there, and got some more presents. Um, so like this, that. Um, it was mostly just some of the things I had bef hadn't bought before. And they had some new things that I was able to get. Like they had this and that. This. That. There were a few things. I also spent some of my coins to get some more, um, well I spent all of my mono coins actually to get some more presents. And I don't think I got anything really good. I got this, I know that. I'm hoping I get another one of these, but unfortunately, of course, I did not. So, besides that, today we have free time. So, with that free time, of course, no one commented, so I decided... Who did I decide I was going to hang out with? I think I decided I was going to hang out with Tenko. It's either Tenko or Kibo. I think I'm going to hang out with Kibo. Because he's already at two fra fragments, so... If I can get him up to four, then great. If not, then also great. So let's go and find our special robot boy. There he is. Why he's in this hallway, I'll never know. I feel like in between episodes, I'm usually going to go to the casino and play the casino games just because of how much stuff I can get. Like there are skills, there are different skins for the um, for the mono pad that I can get. Eventually, I'm gonna get everything, but you know, it's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> how about this? I feel excitement for the first time in a while. My movements are on point, wouldn't you say? Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? I, understand. I see. You're interested in me because I'm in top form today. Very well then. I will show you my true personality. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit off today. My voice is actually kind of hoarse. I'm not entirely sure why. It was fine a few minutes ago. Kibo showed me his best moves. I couldn't tell they were any different, but I'll keep that to myself. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. And present. Well, let me see if I have anything new that he likes. Um, well, he likes that. What else? Um, oh, he likes these. That's cool. What else? He likes that. I got both of those from the casino, so that's not bad. I can get those again. I'm not surprised that he likes this. I'll actually give him that. All the stuff I can get from the casino, it's not that hard to get it back, so... No big deal. This is nice. It aligns with my preferences. You understand me. I feel happy. Shuichi. May I ask you for advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um, advice? Are you sure you want to ask me? Yes. Yes. In fact, you're the only one I can talk to about this matter. The only one. Um, this question has been on my mind for a while now. Do you think I am merely ordinary, despite being the ultimate robot? Well. No, you don't need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel rather ordinary. 
then why ask? If I must. So I've been thinking that I need to address this by somehow taking action. Shuichi, I intend to launch a robot business. A robot business? Indeed. Yes, I'm going to launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. That's why I'm going to work to become a pop star robot. Wait, what? Hold up, wait. Uh, um, a pop star? Why that? Listen closely. I arrived at this di I arrived at this decision after analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance in the pop music genre. Um, I don't think they've advanced in any music genre. For now. On the subject of pop stars, singing is what they're mostly known for, right? Uh, I think it's usually their looks. That's... It's their looks. Hmm. Looks, huh? I suppose I could alter my appearance to a certain extent. But, but I don't want to change how the professor designed me. Singing is how I will stand out. Well, then. I'm going to sing for you now. Please tell me what you think. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, sure. I would soon regret those words. Uh... Ah, the fact that they use that voice line is great! Kiba's expression while singing was so peaceful, so joyous. Uh. <laughs> ah! But my brain was being fried. I felt like my insides were scrambling. I can't block it out. I'm gonna throw up. Oh, well, he threw up. Several minutes later, I opened my eyes, still hunched over. How about this? What do you think, Shuichi? It was pretty good, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, Kibo. I don't think I can follow your, your music career. Huh? What do you mean? No. Kibo, you're singing was terrible. I couldn't take it. Really? What? Was it really that bad? Hmm. Yes. I uh, don't think you should sing for people anymore. No. Oh no. Does that mean I can't become a pop star? Oh. Wait, Kibo, that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you do that? If you just pretend to sing and play the song through your mouth... I can't, I can't do that. What? I'm disappointed that is you. an illogical compromise, Suichi. Please understand, my AI is a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. The easy path will only hinder my progress. Even if one possesses an ultimate level talent, that talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone for, to reach even, height, even greater heights. Friendship Fragment! Kibo's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Um, I don't really know if we got anywhere with this, but cool? Kibo gave me a dressing gown and I returned to my room. I never thought the day would come when a robot would preach to a human. Uh, come to think of it, we didn't come to a conclusion about his robot business. Well, you know what? I should have another free time so we can come to a conclusion then. But goodness gracious, the fact that his singing was so bad it made me throw up. That's just horrible. Oh, don't tell me it's nighttime already. How dare you? Yep. Oh. Oh. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. It's baby by time for us. You bastards. You true. Should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Huh? But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die! Uh, I don't know if we're that close. <laughs> they are going through some stuff. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. Uh, 
I meant to go and find the other mono, um, the other hidden monokumas, but I'll do it later. Shuichi, where are you going? Ah, uh, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? I... Oh, I was just talking to the others. Huh? Talking? Maybe. Since you, since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, uh... Ah, I see. Atua! Atua was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone? I wonder what she means by that. Bye, See you tomorrow! I have a bad feeling about this. Himiko's magic show was Angie's idea, idea as well. What is she planning this time? Oh, come on! Angie's a sweetie! She has nothing bad in mind. Right? Totally. Nothing but good intentions. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then, suddenly... Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? Huh? Maki? Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom and I got so fed up I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. I'm going back. You call this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, and train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked, I'm right already. did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. I'm going back. <laughs> Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do the same goes to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? Hey, so How long are you going to run away? What? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. I mean... You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, what's your enemy? What? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Come yeah, on. you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand it against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? I like this fight. She's so cute. Maki is getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey. So what are you going to do? Kaito. Hey, Kaito. It's okay. You don't have to... Okay, okay. Fine. I'll do it. Huh? huh? You'll do it. Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. <laughs> so you do get it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? 
You don't get it at all. Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Well, what are we doing first? Alright, first, 100 push-ups. Somehow, Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with? Anyway, I'm done and you can't Anyway, I'm done and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there. Maki ignored Kaido and left without a word. Jeez, why she gotta be so difficult? Hey, Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you could just leave them. Weak and suffering? Maki? Well, in that sense, you're... No, your case is a little different. What do you mean? Nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Huh, <sighs> so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and I eventually drifted to sleep. <laughs> Curious? Curious what we monocubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. <laughs> when we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air conditioned room. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. See? We're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. <laughs> okay. Bing bong. Bing bong. Ding dong. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. This is an emergency annou announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh, Manodam, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along thing. That's right. Hey, 
Friends is the only show he watches now. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the exosauce to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. Oh, that's kind of creepy. That's so gory. Please, everyone, get it. Oh, please, get ev along, everyone. Oh, well, didn't matter. Ah, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monophony's blue puke will have good luck. A symbol in the dim, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. What y'all doing here? Good morning, Keo. Are you going to the gym? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. I was about to head over just now. I overslept a bit today, you see. Of course, the one time I do that, we are summoned, so I panicked a bit. I am normally ready to leave my room by 7.30 a.m. That early? I usually wake up at the Monaco's announcement. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. Why does it take so long? Isn't that even longer than what a girl takes? Well, Kyo does have a pretty elaborate uniform. Perhaps that's why. So then. In any event, I have no, we've no time for idle chats. I shall go on ahead to the gym. Okay. Oh, hey, bro. Okay. Good morning. Did you hear the announcement? Ah. Yeah, we gotta meet up in the gym, right? What's going on so early in the morning? Well, I guess we've, I guess we've got no choice but to go. You go on ahead, bro. Huh? What? You're not going? So... Nah, I'm going. I just gotta take care of something first. Then I'll meet you there. Kind of pointing at the, pointing at the door of Maki's room. I suppose he's going to take her. They said everybody's got to be there, right? Who knows what'll happen if some of us don't show up. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Last night's training section, and now this. Kaito is really concerned about Maki. It would be nice if he could help her get along with everybody. Where is Maki's room? Isn't it over here? Uh, yep, it's up there. What are you two doing out here? Um, Himiko, good morning. Yeah. Did that mean good morning? What a, pain. what a pain. Why do we have to go to the gym so early in the morning? I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. We have an important student council meeting today, but this is going to use up all my energy. An important meeting. It's fine. No, no, it's okay. We w you won't use up too much energy just walking to the gym. Yeah. Hey. Hey, about this meeting, are you planning something? Yeah. Oh yeah, sort of. Auntie said we should have a party. We were planning to play in the pool with everyone after this. I see. Uh, Atua said he wanted to play in the pool. What a peculiar request for a god to make. That's not it. Oh no, now's not the time to be standing here talking. If we don't hurry to the gym, our faces might get peeled off like mandarin oranges. Hmm. I don't like mandarin oranges. Peeling off all the white stuff is a pain. The pool. So that's where all the girls will be. I suppose that's just the situation we're in. Everyone needs a break now and then. So basically, hey, you should go to the pool after this. <laughs> Will I go to the pool? Yeah, most likely. I did in my last playthrough, so why not? Will I save before that and then reload so I cannot waste any time? Maybe. 
Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Kiba. Shuichi, doesn't this summons give you an uneasy, an uneasy feeling? You're right. Well, yes, I suppose it does. As I thought. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced? The timing is similar to when we received the monocub pads. Okay. Yes, I think that may be the case. Indeed. But it's alright. No matter what kind of motive is prepared for us, we can oppose it together. Huh? Huh? I have decided. Don't worry. We won't allow the killing game to continue. That was strange. Kibo is uncharacteristically optimistic. What did he mean by won't allow it to continue? Unless I'm crazy, the gym is this way. Whee! I think I'm crazy. Wait, wrong way. Yep. Whee! Wait, no, that's the cafeteria. Oh, wait, never mind. Jim is this way. One day. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rontaro's class trial. All clean. Like nothing ever happened. Man, I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What do you think? Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... That thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. Are you jealous? Please stop. Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. A robot jealous of a computer? That's, it seems just plain possible. Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's you better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone. It's serious. How? Oh no. The colossal insect is is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. No, not that. Gonto went to courtyard before coming here and Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? We're the ones that called them out. Did you forget that too? Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. Oh boy. So it is a motive after all. It doesn't matter what the motive is, we will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. What? But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before? If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror.
You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. And welcome them back to the Academy as a transfer student! Well... A transfer student? Are you serious? We can resurrect someone? The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing a ritual as written, you can res you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Old habits and such. Hey. Monodom, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know? Monophony, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have you punish Monotaro. Me? Please, no! Not Monophony! I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Okay. Fine, I'll do it! So long, farewell! We were all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student? Resurrecting the dead? Don't, around. Don't say such stupid things. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh. Who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Disbelief due to due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they are rather similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Through the rumors and legends, that, ris that ritual is twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual? So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Keo? <laughs> what are you saying? There is no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected. That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Okay. If not even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. And if this idealistic de degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable book bleh, no reasonable girl should believe it either. Okay. Hmm. You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Cause that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Alright, before that I'm gonna talk to Maki. This is stupid. This resurrection ritual sounds stupid. I got dragged here for this? I should have ignored you guys after all. <laughs> Maki, please! Hmm. Atua, I wonder what matter of God it is that Angie speaks of. Hmm. Does that bother you? As an anthropologist? I... No, I have no interest in gods, but I have great interest in their creators. Humans are the ones who created gods, and I am very interested in humanity. 
I wish to know the causes and reasons why human beings create gods. I shall observe. In that sense, the school is most interesting. Because it is during times of great crisis that humans create gods. Maybe a god shall be created here as well. I get where Angie is coming from, but you, Kyo? Maybe. Bring dead back to life? Gonta no can believe that. Forest family teach Gonta. Everything that born and everything that die is part of grand flow. And flow never rewind. Gonta would be happy if everything that died could come back. But even Gonta know, there's no way to take back what already happened. What happened? What's wrong, Kaito? You don't look well. Okay. No, it's nothing. I'm just not feeling so good. All of a sudden. Alright, these four over here. What? What? Don't talk to me about that. I want to hear Angie talk. Uh huh. We already know you're brainwashed. I guess. If Angie is saying it, a dead person might really come back. Hey! Hey, let's hurry up and ask her. Alright, also brainwashed. What? Do you think it's strange that I want to listen to Angie? That's right. So what? It's also important to listen to others so we can work together. Possibly brainwashed. Please. Let's listen to what Angie has to say. Maybe brainwashed. All right, let's go. Uh, um... So you believe you can? revive the dead, Angie? Uh, um, I don't think the I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because you know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with. So maybe the truth is they were never dead to begin with. They weren't... dead. No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... It might have been a very accurate imitation. No. An imitation? I see. Monokuma and the Exosols are evidence of ridiculous scientific ad advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. I've always supported Angie. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, everyone! Wait! What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male! Don't you raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate! Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Shuichi? You, you don't want the dead to be alive? That's true, I but... do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now I think that. But no matter how much we want that... But... Oh, wait! If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So, maybe one of them write message in courtyard? The message in the courtyard? Mm, I don't think I need to really talk to everyone. So, what's up, Gonta? Uh, um... Gonta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On the way here, going to go see writing in courtyard. Hey. And it have more writing this time. Huh? More writing. Um. Going to no could understand what writing mean, but maybe. Right. Maybe a message from dead. Maybe everyone leave message for us that say, "Hey, we alive." A message from everyone who died? Cause no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have write it, right? Rest in peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? 
In other words, it's a message from the dead? Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. Say. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time? Uh-oh. Hmm. It would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. Yeah. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior to those four people. Huh? huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and... Watching you. Always watching, Gonta. Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. <laughs> Grandmas are nice. <laughs> huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was some handsome man. No. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. oh, yeah! Why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right! Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Mm. Mm-hmm. You will use your power for the peace of the academy. <laughs> See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. You need Gonta? Okay, Gonta joins student council too. Wait! Wait, before all of that, what exactly is the student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tinko, and Samuki. Yes! And we arrived to a conclusion. Eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council during game three ultimate academy. Huh? A student council and Angie is the president? Yes. There can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Oh shut up! Right. What? student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> but since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah I'm going to follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Atua is happy too. Oh, yeah. Ah, jeez. They've been totally brainwashed. Angie has spread her influence before we'd even realized. But it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. So she's using the situation to take over the school and make us dependent on a tuba. Please wait. Using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for this school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, going to not let anyone talk bad about student council. Just fucking join them, you brainwashed idiot! But... I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the student council. Huh? Why? That's because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? That's 
That's right, that's right. Now, what were we talking about again? Oh, that resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait. Less burdensome. That's a relief. If it's Atua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah, yeah there's no way Atua could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Atua is always right. Yeah. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. Yeah. It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. I doubt they'd listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. Transfer students, reviving the dead, Atua, student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. And with that, we get more free time that we are going to use in the next episode. I think this was pretty, a pretty full episode. A lot just happened. I'm kind of still processing all of it. So, like always, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be notified of all future content updates, including more Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, Bloodstain, Ritual of the Night, Apex Legends over my Twitch channel on Sundays, and coming up very soon, Catherine Full Body also going to be on my Twitch channel. I will be streaming that. So look forward to that. Like always, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.